just ate dinner at Rainbow Drive-In. Josh didn't go to work today because he was still feeling pretty sick. Um, he's feeling still kind of eh. It's just like a sinus infection. So he didn't want to cook dinner, so we ate at Rainbow. And now I think we're going to go run some errands because we need some stuff. I didn't run all my errand duties yesterday. I ran out of time. So that's what we're doing tonight. Okay, you guys, we are back from Walmart. Guess who we saw? I was pretty excited. Josh was like, whoa, there's no big deal. I think his name is Leland, and he is the dog depending on our son. <laughs> so Josh wasn't excited, but I was excited because I never talked about it in a video, but the mall where we work, um, Josh was the first one to see her and then he told me and then I went into Macy's like a creeper and I went and spied on her. We saw the wife, Beth, is her name Beth? So now we have seen two of the bounty hunters since we've lived in Hawaii, which I think is funny, <laughs> whatever. You wanna see something, what I did today? So I went to the bank and I asked for $30 in quarters because last night when we were frantically doing laundry, we had like no quarters. I think we had a dollar twenty-five, which is enough to wash one load and dry one load, which is really cheap, but we were like out of quarters. So Josh's mom found some quarters for us, but I'm so tired of not having quarters. So I finally just went to the bank, asked them for 30 bucks, and I'm gonna put them all in this jar so that we never have this problem again. And there is $30 in a jar. Isn't that sad? That doesn't even look like very much. Alright, so Josh's dad gave us for Christmas this little speaker. And we haven't used it yet. But we just got it out. It and it really sounds really good. good. I like it. Cool. <laughs> this is like cord central down here. Oh my gosh, we gotta figure that out. Well, I talked in a video before about how I wanted to start doing more crafty things again. I think tonight I'm gonna try to make this heart garland for, um, for Valentine's Day. I did this on my blog maybe like three years ago. Maybe two years ago, I don't know. Super easy, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna make them. Just an easy, cheap garland for Valentine's Day. What? Look at how funny you're sitting. You stinker. Oh, now you'll get your bone if I just come down by your bed. Guess I'm hanging out with Olive right here on her bed. Oh my goodness. Olive. I just want you to know how ridiculous you look. <laughs> Olive! What? I've been with you all day. Get your bone. Get your bone. What is going on with her? Get your bone. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Guys, Olive is being crazy tonight. I don't know what is up with her. Josh has been home with her all day and she's acting so attention deprived. Puppy, what are you doing? Being a weirdo? So there's my pile of hearts. I have one more to make, so I'll show you guys how I make it. If I can film this. So I just, I get a full pipe cleaner and I cut it in half. And then I just fold the half in half. Can you see this? And then I pull it apart so it makes a little V. 
And then I just kind of form the heart down. Put the bottoms together. And I kind of overlap the bottoms if you can see that. And then I just fold them up on each other so that they like pinch each other in place. And there's the heart. So there's my pile and then I just will string them onto a streamer. Walking everywhere kind of stinks, but this wasn't too far. Alright you guys, so I decided to just try to watch to see what we were doing a year ago. A year ago we weren't doing daily vlogs, we were just filming randomly, so it's one day off. This is February 2nd. But I thought it was really funny that the vlog from a year ago, we ate at Rainbow and I was wearing this shirt when we walked there. So I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> that was us a year ago. Thanks for checking out. <laughs> well, it's the end of the night and I'm feeling a lot better than I did this morning. Today, Kaylee was changing her shirt and I saw her belly sticking out and I was like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe that you're getting that big. So I'm pretty excited. I'm horrible. I haven't even done a bump date. I didn't I wanted to really do a 20 week bump date and I didn't even do one. Show them the bump now. This sweater is good. Should look bigger? It looks pretty big. But in a good way. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I'm not offended when Josh makes jokes. <laughs> I, I'm excited for my stomach to get big. I have, I've like discovered that I rub it a lot now. Like without thinking about it, I just like rub my belly. Is it because it itches or anything, or no, is it's it just because it's like there and it's like yeah. my hands just hit it and I just rub it? Oh. I don't know. Do you do a little Morse code on? She says, who's there? Wow, pretty cool. It's pretty I smart. really want Josh to feel her. He hasn't felt her yet. I try when I'm like just sitting there at work all day, I try to like keep my hands on my belly to see if I can feel it on the outside. And there's only been one time where I was like, whoa, I think you can feel that one on the outside. But it's hard for me to know because I'm feeling it on the inside too. But anyways, hopefully Josh will feel her soon. Check out our decorations for Valentine's Day. I don't think I like them there. <laughs> they look That's so my heart, darling. I might move them to a different location. I'm gonna call it a night because I still need to take a shower and edit this vlog and then go to bed and then go to work. Well, this mister just hangs out at home again tomorrow. Say goodnight to everybody. No. <laughs> So we will see you guys tomorrow. Thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't. Bye. So I made my homemade barbecue sauce right here. So stinking good. And then I'm just gonna pour it over the chicken. And there's onions down there under the chicken too. So good.